Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Easy69. Welcome back to the channel. Um, and let's talk about the Cromwells. So today we are going to have a look at all three Cromwells. So there's three, literally three Cromwells. And this is unusual when it comes to Blitz. Like we always get that copy paste tank that there's maybe one or two of the same tank. One is a premium and one is a tech tree. However, this is uh, unusual to have three of the same tanks. So you've got the Cromwell B, you've got the Cromwell, and you've got an Explorer. So one is a Tech Tree tank, one is a premium, and one is a collectible tank. So it's one of each. What tank is better? So we're going to have a look at all three tanks and a quick uh, battle of each tank, and we'll make that decision. Uh, so the looking at the stats, we've got the Cromwell first, then the Cromwell, then the the Explorer. Of course, the Explorer, in case you didn't know, was a battle pass tank. So, uh, the DPM on all three is exactly the same. The penetration is exactly the same. The Alpha, the rate of fire, the reload, the caliber, the shell velocity are all exactly the same. Now, when it comes to aim time, uh, in fact, I didn't even really know that the Explorer was the best out of the three. And the Cromwell in the middle there coming in worse at the worst. So 1.9 on the Cromwell B, 2.08 on the Cromwell, and 1.72 on the Explorer. The same with the gun dispersion. The Explorer is better than both of the others at 0.317. Now, when it comes down to gun depression, the best, of course, is the Cromwell B at 13 degrees, which is a massive difference to the other two at 8 degrees. Uh, so the Cromwell and the Explorer both have 8 degrees. The speed is uh, exactly the same on all three. The power rate uh, to weight ratio is is slightly worse on the explorer um the same as the traverse there and of course the camo is better camo aftershot is better on the explorer uh, so the credit coefficient of course is in the favor of the cromwell b being a premium tank however the collectible is slightly behind at one four five percent and of course the cromwell b you can actually get it better if you uh, than both of them if you do enrich the cromwell uh, so the view range is exactly the same the hp on all three are exactly the same now the armor profile um, I don't know why Wargaming do this. So you look at the turret armor on the Cromwell B and the Cromwell. The turret armor front, middle, back, or front, side, and back are all exactly the same. And the same with the uh, Explorer. However, the Explorer on the, the, I think that's the rear, has 65. So I don't know why they do that. Literally, it's like one better. What is the point? Just make it exactly the same. And the uh, the whole armor on the Cromwell on the normal Cromwell is thirty two, which is ten less than the Cromwell B. So the Cromwell armor is actually worse than the other two. Um, well, yeah, worse than the other two. However, on the front of the hull on the Explorer is only twenty five millimeters. So that is absolutely nothing. That actually makes a huge difference because when you're playing tier six, seven. Uh, and five, most of the guns that you're going to come up against does not have 65 pen. Um, it has slightly less. Like some tier 10s, you struggle to get 65 pen on, on the HE. However, uh, most tanks will have more than 25. So you're going to be able to be shot a lot more easier uh, frontally in the Explorer than you would the other two with H when it comes down to HG. So, yeah, I mean, I don't understand some, I get they change in, they don't want each tank to be exactly the same, but looking at just the stats on all three of these tanks, it does make you think, why would you want to play the Cromwell? Because the Explorer is better when it comes down to aim time and dispersion. Of course, it doesn't have as much armor profile, but you don't drive the Cromwell in hoping to bounce shots. It's, they've all got no armor, really. Um, so, yeah, I mean, why would you want to play the Cromwell? So let's just have a look in the game, uh, in, in game and just to see a couple of replays in each of these tanks. So the worst one out of the three is. Let me just turn this up a little bit. So the worst one out of the three, I would definitely say, is the uh, is the Cromwell. Um, yeah, it's it. 
it's why play it? Why, why, I don't know why you would uh, want to play this tank if you have the other two. Now, me being me, of course, I do have the uh, the other two. So I've got three Cromwells all uh, to choose from. Uh, and, you, and honestly, like you're not going to sit there and play all three. You're not going to sit there and think, you know what, I want to play the Cromwell. And then the next game, I want to play the Cromwell B. If you're going to play tier six, you're going to stick to one tank, which is probably not going to be the Cromwell unless you are unless you're grinding um, but that doesn't mean it's it's a bad tank the Cromwell is actually a really good tank it's a fun tank to play of course unless you'll be in shop with HE and those that don't have the Explorer or the Cromwell B it is definitely a, a nice tank to play it's definitely a fun tank and of course I do have the old uh, football camo that was out years and years ago for the uh, Cromwell. Only a couple of tanks does uh, have this um, camo, actually. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it is still enjoyable to play. Of course, the penetration you do uh, struggle with, and to be honest, you struggle with that from all the Cromwells. So you might run, a one, run it with calibrated shells uh, just to up that pen because you can suffer. You can really suffer when you are driving all the Cromwells. Not just this Cromwell, of course, they do have all have the same pen. Uh, so yeah, you can struggle when you are coming up against those tier seven heavies. If this due to was staring at me, then I would actually have struggle penetrating that guy. But luckily he wasn't looking at me and we do manage to uh, take him out. So uh, at the moment, this game, it is a six versus four. We are going to go on and we actually just managed to uh, to pull this off, uh, this, uh, this victory. But uh, we do get pretty lucky with uh, this victory. So... It's a four versus three, and let's just fast forward here just a little bit, uh, because I do really struggle here. And part of this is my own fault. So we're going to go around behind the Skoda. Again, I'm not aiming. Uh, we bounce there, and we're going to try and get the shot here. We do actually switch to uh, the premium round, and again, we still don't uh, penetrate this guy. So now I'm a one shot, and I just wanted to stay alive so we get the supremacy points. And we do do that, and we manage to actually stay alive as well. So you can struggle with the uh, penetration, but that game, mostly it was, uh, it was my fault that I didn't aim my shots. So the next one on the list, I think, is the explorer i i think uh the top of the tree or the top the top cromwell has to be the cromwell b now again this has nothing really to do with the uh the armor profile of course you can be shot uh with he um but for me it just doesn't feel like a cromwell and not a cromwell but i love the cromwell b and if the Cromwell B is, has been one of my favourite tier 6s for a very long time. And that's for one reason and one reason alone. And that is the gun depression. Um, of course, it's the gun depression is 13 degrees. Now, 8 degrees is still really, really good for a tier 6 tank and for a medium tank. So you can still get away with the gun depression. Uh, but I, I just think the 13 degrees does make a massive, massive difference. Like 13 is really, really high. And probably in the top five uh, with gun depression, one of the best in, in the game. So it's not just the best in tier six, but it's one of the best in the game. It's not actually the best, uh, but 13 degrees of gun depression is really, really good. And it just makes you get on those ridges, uh, those ridge lines. And then once you're on the ridge lines, you don't have to expose your tank as much as you would if you're driving this or this tank here the explorer or the uh on the normal cromwell you can get on a ridge like now like we do have to get up a little bit but if we're in the cromwell b we can get more on a ridge and we're showing less of our tank uh so uh, yeah but the explorer is still good i don't really understand why they decided to add another cromwell as a battle pass tank there is plenty of other tanks out there in tier six where there's only one tank you know there's not a premium version of that tank however with the cromwell we've already got the cromwell we've had the cromwell b for years and wargaming still wanted to make a uh, collectible version with the explorer uh, but again if you haven't grinded the uh, the cromwell and you've managed to get the cromwell uh, the explorer in the battle pass then again you're still getting a nice tank but it's not it's just not as nice 
it's not 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 as nice as the uh, as the Cromwell B. So we're just going to just show you my one of my favourites. So it is not my favourite tank in tier six. I like the Panzer 4S to be honest. When it comes down to uh, to medium tanks, I absolutely love the uh, the Panzer 4S, and it actually it's got some armour to go with it. Um, but the Cromwell B has to be my favourite and. Uh, Back a few years ago, so back a few years ago, when we went Tank Fest, Wargaming actually gave us quite a few bonus codes to uh, to give away. So I had literally like hundreds of Cromwell Bs. So hundreds of people all got a free Cromwell B. Um, not only that, but when it does come for sale, it usually comes for sale in, in a bundle. So you can get it for like £5. You can get it for about £5, but with that £5, you usually get, what, 30 days of premium um, with that. So it does come for cheap, and it is one of the, when it comes down to mediums, it is one of the best mediums in Tier 6. But as I've said, I still like the Panzer 4S better than the Cromwell. It doesn't have the gun depression, but it does have that armour, um, at least the turret armour. And you can actually get quite a few troll bounces from uh, the Panzer 4S. But out of all three Cromwells, I definitely recommend the Cromwell B. It is the better by a long shot. And that is mainly because of that gun depression. As I've said, the penetration, the DPM, they are all the same on all three tanks. Uh, but with 13 degrees of gun depression, you can't really go wrong with that. So let me know your thoughts. Do you have all three tanks? You might prefer one of the others over what I think. It's it literally, it's just uh, how I think. And it's the gun depression that does it for me. So let me know your thoughts. What is your favorite Cromwell? Do you own all three or do you just own two? Um, are you looking to get another one? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. A tank versus tank uh, versus tank today. Normally, we do a tank versus tank, but today we've done a tank versus tank versus tank. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But for now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Meadsy69, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.